Hey everybody, thanks for joining me back here at the Greetery YouTube channel. And today I have a video for you showing you how to watercolor our uh, Botanica succulents dies. And uh, so these were released back in April. And so this video has been a little while in coming, but I finally had a chance to put this together for you. So let's get started. All right, so first of all, I wanted to show you, I shared some photos of this on the blog when um, the Botanica succulents dies were released. And so I thought I'd pull it out and talk about it a little bit. So when we originally released these dyes, um, I did a lot of watercoloring and I played around with a lot of different color combinations. It's really kind of surprising how many colors these succulents kind of come in. And so it's really fun to play around with colors. And so I kind of kept track of the different color combinations that I used. I had done them all in these colors and used them on projects, but um, I have this as a reference. And I took some photos before I used those on projects, and I will post those on the blog uh, for your reference as well if you'd want to um, get some inspiration from the colors that I chose to use. So today I think we're going to play around with this combination right up here. And I don't know if you can see it on the video, but this uses four different colors of watercolor. I have Moon Glow, which is a Daniel Smith color, uh, Pale Aqua, which is from my Kiritaki set, uh, Red Violet, and Olive Green. Those colors are both from my Mission Gold watercolor set that I talked quite a bit about in uh, my other watercolor videos. And so I think we'll play around with that color combination today and we will paint the large succulent. All right, so let's go ahead and get started painting. I have my colors, my four different colors, all ready to go here on my palette. I have the moon glow, the aqua, the red violet, and a little bit of olive green. And I have die cut all of my pieces already. There's four pieces to assemble each uh, succulent. And this is the large one again, like I said. And we are going to start off by painting this base layer of the succulent. And so what I'm going to do is I'm starting off uh, just by painting this with water. So I want to wet this whole piece so that I can do some wet on wet uh, watercolor. And it will just give us some nice color blends and uh, be kind of fun. So just doing the water and like I've said before, you don't want puddles of water when you're doing the wet on wet technique. Um, you should have just enough water so that your paper is nice and glossy and has a nice sheen to it, but it should not uh, be sitting with puddles of water. All right, so we are going to, now it's all nice and wet and I'm going to start dropping in color. I'm starting with Moon Glow, which I'm going to drop in in kind of all these areas that I want to be nice and dark. So right around the base and then also kind of um, in between the leaves or petals, I'm also going to drop some in there. And then um, a lot of times succulents have kind of those pink or reddish tips. And so I'm going to be dropping some of that red violet color onto the tips. You'll also notice I did not wet these areas just beyond those little die cut slits. I left those dry. I'm going to come back later and paint those areas uh, once everything else is dry. And so now I'm dropping in some aqua in these other areas. The, anything that really doesn't have color to it yet, I'm dropping in some of that aqua. Okay, and now I cleaned my brush and I dried it and I'm going to go back and kind of just clean up my edges and make sure that the paint and the color is going all the way to the edges and um, is kind of neat and tidy around those edges. And I also might drop in just a little more color of that moon glow to deepen up uh, some of this just a little. Okay. 
All right, I think that's a good start. We're going to set that piece aside and let that dry. And we will move on to the next layer, which is this largest piece. And we will do kind of the same thing. I'm going to leave these petals, or leaves, whatever you want to call them on a succulent. I'm not sure if they're leaves or petals, but um, these little areas that kind of pop out, I'm going to let those, I'm going to do those later. So we're going to work on the rest of the area and we're going to do the same thing that we just did on that base layer. And I'll wet it first and then I'll come back and add in some color. Okay, so we have it all nice and wet and I'm going to start dropping in my color. And once again, I'm going to add that red violet to each of the tips. And then I'm going to go in with that moon glow and kind of drop that along where it would be darker, kind of in towards what would be the center of that little succulent plant. Don't get too caught up in this center area here because that does get covered up. Uh, the succulent layers um, all layer over the top of each other and so that center part does get covered up and so don't uh, get too concerned about working in that area too much. So. I have a lot of nice moon glow going on there. So now we're going to drop in our aqua on the center of each of those petals. And now just keep in mind this technique is going to be really the same no matter what color combination you choose to make your succulents. Kind of use the same process, uh, the wet on wet. And then once this is all dry, we're going to go back in and add some more blending and shading. All right, so now I've cleaned and dried my brush and I'm going to go in and make sure that all of my edges are nicely uh, finished and cleaned up. All right, we're gonna let that piece, uh, set that aside as well and let that dry. And we'll come back to that a little bit later. Next layer is this little piece and we're again going to work on this in kind of two sections. And so you have what is kind of the back layer here and the front layer. And then this little piece of course gets tucked inside of there. And so we're going to work on that piece in two sections as well. So I think we'll start off by working on this back section. And once again, we're just going to do wet on wet using the same colors and the same technique. So I've dropped all my color in and now I'm going to go back in and just make sure my edges are all nice and clean. I'm also going to drop in just a little bit of this olive green on this one. Kind of like the way that yellowy green just adds a little bit of variety and kind of brightens it up a little bit. Okay, we're going to let that one set aside as well. We'll add more details later. And finally, our center little piece here. Let's finish that one off in the same way. All right, so our first layer of color is done on all of those pieces. We wanna finish off any of these little areas that are not painted 
uh, but we want to make sure that the pieces are dry before we do that and so I might go mine are still a little bit wet so I'm gonna go hit those with my heat gun and dry those up and I'll be right back all right so these pieces are dry and so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move on and we're going to finish all of these areas that have not been painted and we're going to finish those using the same wet on wet technique that we used for the rest of the uh, die cuts and we'll just finish those up that way and we'll use the same colors I'm actually going to kind of pop those out so that I can work with them a little bit easier and I don't have to worry about getting uh, paint on the back side there Okay, so that looks pretty good. We will let that dry and we'll move on and finish the unpainted petals on this section of the die cut of this die cut as well. And again, I'm going to kind of pop those out so I can work with those a little easier and we'll just do the same thing. We'll do the wet on wet. Okay, so those pieces are finished. We'll let those dry and we're going to move on back to this base layer and we're going to finish these areas here uh, that this these are kind of meant to look like the edges of the leaves or the petals are kind of curling up or you're kind of seeing the edges there and a lot of times the back side can have kind of a purplish or reddish uh, tone to it and so we're going to kind of go with that and so I'm going to start with the uh, red violet here and add that and then I might drop in a little bit of the moon glow just to add some shading Okay, so everything has its first coat and now we're going to go back and we're going to add a little bit of shading using a drier brush technique. And so what I'm going to do is for this portion I'm going to be using mostly the moon glow and I'm going to kind of make some more def uh, definition on the edges of the leaves. And so to do that, I'm going to make a stroke kind of just like that where I want the shading to be. And then I'll clean and dry my brush and then go back in and just blend that out. Okay, and then just continue on with that same technique anywhere you feel like you want a little more definition, a little more shading. I'm going to get these areas which would be kind of between the leaves or the edges of the leaves. And you need to work fairly quickly when you do this technique. Just work on a small section at a time because once that initial um, stroke that you put down, like right here, I did that stroke, once that starts to dry, you're gonna end up with a hard edge that you won't be able to blend out. And so just work on one small section at a time and add that shading. 
it takes a bit of time and takes a little patience, but it's kind of fun. So you can see where that's starting to really give it some definition in those areas. Okay, so I think that layer is pretty well finished. And so we're gonna move on and I'm gonna add just a little bit here. Um, so I'm gonna move on and I'm going to do this same technique on the rest of the layers. And so I might speed up the video a little bit because you can kind of get the idea. It's just using that same sort of dry brush blending uh, technique and so We'll just continue on adding shading in that way and uh, yeah so I'll speed up this video now and you can kind of watch the process but I think you probably get a pretty good idea. want to point out on this uh, petal or this leaf right here is that you do kind of it's kind of like you're seeing the side edge of this uh, part right here and so I'm going to make that more of a solid line there's actually a little yeah it's this little die cut portion or there's a little slit here that kind of di differentiates that that's another little leaf and I think you're kind of seeing the side of that one and so I'm going to give that a darker kind of a hard edge there very similar to what we did right here Another part here that I want to point out is this section right over here. Once again, you're kind of seeing the edge of these leaves, and so I'm going to add a more defined line and a darker color to that edge right there. And that's kind of defined by, there's a little die cut edge there, and so we're kind of seeing the edge of the leaf, and so I'm going to add that darker color there like I've been doing on the other ones too. And I might, there's no die cut slit over on this one, but I think I'm going to do the same here to kind of mimic the look of the edge of that leaf. So that just adds a little bit of definition and kind of interest to that part right there. And then we just have, I'll just add some shading to this little center guy and then I think we are pretty well finished. Okay, so our watercoloring is finished. All of our pieces are done and shaded. The center of this piece looks really bad, but that's okay because that gets covered up, so I didn't mess around with that a whole lot. So we're gonna go ahead and assemble now. I have some liquid glue, and I will start by just putting some along that rounded edge there and then this layer gets layered over the top just like that and then these little uh, leaves get popped out and the center next layer uh, gets kind of layered over the top slipped under those petals Okay, and then the same thing with this layer. These petals kind of pop out here like that. 
and then this little center most piece gets tucked behind those petals just like that so there you have it really kind of a fun watercolored succulent look and really fun like I said to play around with different color combinations uh, succulents come in so many different colors so it's really fun to play around with the colors all right so I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for joining me and uh, I'm gonna put these to use on a project and we'll see how that turns out so thanks for watching everybody this has been Betsy at the Greetery